Today we're going to be taking a look at Law Toolbox's add-in for Outlook and Microsoft Teams. This is what Law Toolbox will look like in everyone's Outlook inbox, and this is what Law Toolbox will look like inside Microsoft Teams. You can live and breathe and create all of your matters inside of Microsoft Teams or Outlook, completely up to you. The add-in is going to work exactly the same in both places. We also have a mobile application that allows you to manage your deadlines and your documents from your mobile device. Today, we'll go ahead and start in Outlook, and I'm going to click on the dashboard to pull open the add-in. The dashboard is going to function as the first two forms of reminders for the system. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll have a four-day view of all of your upcoming deadlines, and on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll have a list of all of your recently worked on matters. If you click on any matter name, it's going to pull open our action menu, which controls everything you can do with our product. For the purposes of managing your deadlines, you're going to spend all of your time under calculate deadlines, adding a deadline or appointment, and view and edit deadlines. I'll take a second to break these down. Calculate deadlines is going to have a list of trigger dates based on the specific rule set that you applied to a matter. Adding a deadline or appointment will be for all your ad hoc dates. And then view and edit deadlines will allow you to modify a deadline or to pull a report. To get started, I'm going to set up a new matter in Law Toolbox. To do that, I'm going to click on Matters. And I'm going to go ahead and click on New Matter. On this screen, the only required field will be the case nickname. Whatever you enter here is how the matter will show up on everyone's calendar. So I'm going to name my matter Johnson v. Tillman and click Next. Here I'm going to select the state that applies to my matter, and that's going to bring up all of the rule sets for that particular state. I'm going to go ahead and select District Court, accept the license agreement, and click Create. What the system is doing here is it's creating an Office 365 group for this matter. What that means is that anybody that I add at this stage is going to have access to this matter and all of the notes, contacts, and documents that go along with it. Most importantly, they'll all automatically receive the deadlines on their calendar. For every firm that we roll out, we roll out one central user that we call the central docketing user and we configure this user to auto receive all of the deadlines in your firm. So you have a central place where you can see everything that's happening. To start calculating deadlines, you're simply going to go ahead and click on calculate. Here you'll find a list of our triggers, all arranged chronologically as trial unfolds. It's also type ahead, so you could type in anything that you were searching for. Our trigger dates will be all of those dates that spur deadlines based on the rules of procedure. To get started, I can go ahead and put in a commencement date. And I'll say that was yesterday and click Next. Here the system is just calculating all of the deadlines that run off this specific trigger. At the top of the screen, you can see that I have a total of seven deadlines. We won't add those to everyone's calendar. We'll put them into this deadline chart. And then you would simply deselect all of them and select only what you wanted to sync onto everyone's calendar. So I could select these three, come up to sync and add selected. And that's going to push the deadlines onto everyone's calendar. You'll notice that when the deadlines have been successfully added, they're going to turn green. Anything that has not yet been added will remain in black. Here we have links to the court authority for each deadline, so you can see exactly where the deadlines are coming from. And if you click on the ellipsis to the right of a deadline, it's going to open up more options for you. Label will go ahead and allow you to mark these deadlines as done, pending, follow up, urgent or ignore. And it's going to mark that in front of the deadline on your calendar and on any reports that you pull. Details will tell you how these deadlines were calculated and give you additional information on this deadline. If you needed to edit a deadline, you will come in and click on edit. All of the events in Law Toolbox will automatically default to being all day events to float at the top of the calendar for the day. 
This won't conflict with any scheduling tools your attorneys and support staff might be using, and their days will still appear as being free. You can convert these to specific time of day appointments by unchecking the box, entering in a start time and an end time. Here you could enter in a location, a Zoom meeting link. Here you could add additional labels and links to documents and of course descriptions of your event. Our find meeting time feature will search the calendars of all the users who are shared to this matter and show you when everyone is free when you're scheduling an event. This plus and minus sign will act as a money calculator for you. So let's say you received an order pushing this out 90 days. Here you could go ahead and type in your value. You could choose whether you'd like those to be calendar days or court days, excluding weekends and holidays. Law Toolbox will automatically calculate that new date for you and make a note of the calculation in the description field. Here you could add an additional note to say per Judge Smith's order. And when you click update, you've now updated this deadline across everyone's calendar. Delete will remove any unwanted deadlines from this deadline chart and from any reports that you pull. You can add things to the calendar directly here and history will show you a record of changes. So you'll be able to see who edited what and when. We also offer a timeline view of all of your deadlines. So if I collapse August, I can see that I have two deadlines coming up in August for this particular matter. I can pull a matter report to show me everything that's happening in this case from the timeline view or the deadline view. Now I'm going to go ahead and calculate a motion related deadline. To do that, I'm going to type in motion into my trigger dates and we'll put in the date the motion was filed. We'll say that happened today and click next. We'll say that our motion was filed within 42 days of trial with the response due in 14 days. Here, I could give my motion a name so I'm going to call this ABC motion and click next. Here we can see all of my motion related deadlines with the name of the motion listed next to the deadline. If I wanted to add these onto everyone's calendar, I'm simply going to come to sync and add selected. And now my deadlines on everyone's calendar. It is important to note that in law toolbox, if you edit any of the trigger dates, it's going to edit and move all of the deadlines that run off that specific trigger. This filter will allow me to toggle between all my deadlines, my past deadlines, but will always default to future deadlines. This view button will show me what's been synced to everyone's calendars, what has not yet been synced, and of course, give you a view of all of the deadlines. The external button will allow you to share a single deadline or event with someone outside of your organization. You would simply enter in the recipient's email address and time zone, and that would share a single event or deadline with someone outside your organization. Email will send you a matter report. You can send this to someone externally or to yourself, and I'll pull this in the deadline view as well as the timeline view so we can compare what these reports look like. Here you can see that we just had our matter report come in in the deadline view. Everything will be arranged chronologically with links to the court authority for each of these deadlines. If something is an all day event versus a time of day appointment, it will be listed right here. We'll include methods of service. And if any of these deadlines have been rolled off a weekend or court holiday, that will be listed in the description as well. Here we have a timeline view of the same report. If I wanted to pull a report of all of my deadlines coming up across all of my matters, I'm going to click on reports in the add-in. This is going to take me to a date range report, which I can pull across a practice calendar, my central docketing user, or for an individual attorney. This period of time will default to being about a month out, but you can select whatever period of time you want. And this report will show you all of your deadlines coming up across all of your matters for this specific period of time. You will see if something is on a time of day appointment versus a deadline, what has been synced to the calendar versus what has not yet been added. You'll have links to the court authority for each of the deadlines and our system uses hashtags. So you can filter these reports by trial dates, motion, summary judgment. You would just type in your filter right here you can then email it to yourself or you can download it to a customizable Excel format. This filter button will allow you to toggle between a short description and a longer description. 
And this is what the date range report is going to look like. You're going to see the details of your event or deadline, a description of your event or deadline, and then the attorney and staff that are working on the specific matter. If I were to download this to an Excel document, this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to see when my deadline or event is, the start date, the appointment time, the location, the related matter name, matter number, my client's name, case number, third party matter number if it applies to your organization, Columns J and K will allow you to choose between a shorter description of your deadline or event or a longer description. Here you'll see attendees, the rule set applied, hashtags, the type of appointment or deadline, the date the deadline was modified, and the date the matter was created. If you would like to remove any of these columns from your report, you can simply hide them. You can also filter this report to show you specific information by hitting Control Shift L. So I would like to filter this report to show me my specific time of day appointments. I can go ahead and print this report out to share it with my team, share it with them directly in this format, or save it. If I click on reports in Law Toolbox, and if I click on the lightning bolt next to the word date range, it's going to take me to a matter sharing report. Again, you can pull this across your firm's central calendar or for an individual user. And this report is going to show you which matters your attorney and staff are working on. You're going to see the name of the matter, when the matter was created, the last time the matter was worked on. And I can see this is being worked on by Jean and George. And again, you have the option to download to an Excel or email this report to yourself. This is also going to give you an overview of all of the matters that you have in the system. And this is what the matter sharing report is going to look like. In terms of the reminders that Law Toolbox provides, as I mentioned at the beginning of the demo, the dashboard is going to function as the first two forms of reminders. Here you'll have a four day view of all of your upcoming deadlines. And on the right hand side, you'll have a list of all of your recently worked on matters, all of your users, will also receive this e-tickle from Law Toolbox. And this is our seven day email reminder that will get automatically sent out seven days before every deadline is due. This is something you can control at the user level. So if you have certain attorney or support staff that would prefer not to receive this, you can switch it off for that user. You'll have a one day reminder that pops up at you the day before the deadline is due. And then of course the reports that you can pull by date range, by matter, or across all of your matters. We also build suggested dates into our system as a form of additional reminders. So we would build in an example of this would be a 90 day reminder for motion and discovery cutoff. And that would be a suggested date that you can sync to the calendar and that you will receive reminders for. Calendar will show you a matter calendar. So you'll see all of the deadlines synced to the calendar for this particular matter. They'll appear here, as well as on everyone's Outlook calendars and on the central docketing user calendars. Share matter will allow you to add or revoke access to anyone working on this matter with you throughout the life of the case. Once you're done working on a matter, you can go ahead and close that matter. That's going to do two things. It's going to pull all of the future deadlines relating to this matter off everyone's calendar, and it's going to move the matter to your firm's archive. You can reactivate any of the matters from your firm's archive at any time, and it will bring back all of the deadlines associated with that particular matter. You can also access this version of Law Toolbox by going to app.lawtoolbox.com to give you a full screen version of Law Toolbox. You can also pull this up on your mobile device.